Maki. What were you doing with this guy? Oh, n nothing? I love the look on the other guy's face. Like, hello. I have not. I not. I not banging wife. No, I know. I don't do that. No. I just. I know. I just know. Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Judgment. So last time, we uh, we found out what happened to Red Nose, and it was kind of like I suspected, but also different at the same time. So yeah, even though it turns out that Higashi technically was involved with um, Red Nose's death, it was all a setup by Hamura, which wasn't that difficult to figure out, but still it's unfortunate that we had to have a boss fight with you know, Higashi, because he wasn't that bad of a guy. But now that we finished that one, we're on to chapter four, Skeletons in the Closet. As Yagami chases the mole, the Matsugani family's net tightens. Hmm. A year ago, Kaito was expelled from the family, and its power structure changed entirely. But the whole thing was a setup. In Kamarocho, men are pulled into the criminal underworld's currents. But those that refuse to submit to its tides will always struggle. Yep. Chapter 4 Skeletons in the Closet. Now, I just wonder whose skeletons we're going to be getting at. That's the question. <laughs> Matsugane family office. This is not going to go well. So, Higashi. Tell me. You have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No. I don't, boss. You sure could use one with talk still hanging around. It's time to start doing your damn job! Oh, God. I feel so bad for him. Higashi's he's a good guy. Damn it, that's annoying. Got a light? Yeah. Camp's awfully tense lately. Uh, well, yeah. Kind of kills the whole room, you know. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. He's always in such a bad mood. Uh oh. Die! Oh, he must be part of the other um, gang, the Kansai gang. Oh, whoa! That lady got shot too. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. It looks like the Kansai are getting a lot more um, uh, ballsy than they used to be. Fuck. I mean, like, I wasn't expecting that. But, uh, yeah, the Matsugane family is going to have a lot more to worry about than just talk. One dead, one wounded in the Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Hmm. Did I know him? Doubt it. He didn't make a habit of standing out. Hmm. Smart well, at least plan. they got the killer. Apparently, he says he's just an office worker. Bullshit. Guy's a Kyorei assassin, no doubt. Oh, yeah. You sure? Yep. At least, that's what Higashi told me. Oh, you mean the guy who was ready to shoot me the other day? <laughs> <laughs> you still sore about that? Oh, yeah. Anyway, 
According to Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Damn. And then he shot both his eyes out. Why? Must be the Kyorei's idea of revenge. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. Which would be bad. So the Kyorei clan wants a war. Looks like it. Kamurocho is turning into a goddamn battlefield. Yeah, and the people, the innocent people will get involved. Uh, like with that lady who got nixed by the bullet, you know? Uh, so what am I supposed to do now? Gosh, she was in the office when the shooting happened. Probably wouldn't hurt to swing by the arcade and get the scoop. Yep, not a bad idea. Alright, come on, come on, I know I can squeeze through. And we're off. Oh. Hello? Uh, hello, this is Yagami. Yagami-san! Hoshino? I can't remember who that is. Uh, Yagami-san, you've gotta help me! Hey, what's the matter? There's been an incident at the Genda Law Office! Oh, Jesus! Huh? What do you mean? Just... Something terrible happened! You gotta get down here! Yeah. Alright, I'll be right there. Now well, Higashi's gonna have to wait. Genda Law Office definitely comes first. Giant traffic cones. God, I wish I could pick those up and, like, beat my enemies with them. <laughs> hmm? We go now to the bombing incident in Kamurosha, where it seems we have an update on the device found at the scene. They're still looking into the bombing. According to newly released police reports, the bomb was handicraft and included a remote-controlled timer. The police are continuing to search for any evidence that may lead to the culprit. Citizens are encouraged to call the police should they see any suspicious persons or unattended bags. In other news, the baby panda born last month continues to show healthy growth and... So basically, they're still hoping to find a lead. Oh no, not again. A block number? Could it be from the bomber? Answering this could lead to trouble, but should I? I'll answer it, why not? Hello? Hello? Oh, I gotta do the voice again. <laughs> the police are useless. Wouldn't you agree, Yagami-san? Mad Bomber strikes again! Are you the bomber? Why do you know my name? I've done my homework. You're a private eye, aren't you? That's none of your business. <laughs> Don't be like that, Yagami. This is fun, isn't it? Shut the hell up! Are you sure it's wise to take this attitude with me? Or would you rather try to find the next bomb without any hints? What? <laughs> that certainly changed your tune. I can hear it in your voice. I can feel the tension rising. What do you get out of this? What's your motive? Kamurocho's security system is so full of holes. The city should have sunk by now. What? Don't you feel like a fool for paying taxes when this is what the government has to show for it? A criminal wasting tax dollars on bombs has no business bringing that up. <laughs> I like your style, Yagami-san. While I would love to debate this further, I'm afraid time's running short. Let's get started, shall we? You bastard. This new bomb I set up in Kamurocho packs a real punch. There's an ox inside the inn. That's where you'll find it. An ox in an inn? <laughs> Five minutes, Yagami-san. The clock's ticking. Shit, not again. Knocks it in. I have to think. 
The only ox that I remember seeing is like outside one of the restaurants. It's not really in an inn, but uh, that's the best I can come up with at the moment. See, like this. This is the only thing I can think of. Nope. Apparently that's not it. Well, shit. An ox in an inn. Maybe in one of, uh... So there's like the hotel district, and that's what I'm thinking of. That's the only thing I can think of, personally. Well, it wasn't that, like I thought, because that was the only ox that I know of. Oh, great. Just what I need. Is that it? Oh, no, no. God. For a second, I thought that was the bomb, but no, that's just a sand weight. Oh, shoot. I forgot to switch. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. There we are. Uh, that took. That is taking precious, precious time. Oxen and in, oxen and in. Uh, I don't know. Like, this is the hotel district. This is the only thing I can think of. Oh, great. Guys, a bomb is about to go off, so either get out of my way, or I'm just gonna have to beat you in the face. Oxen and in. I can't think of anything. Damn it. It's not the hotel district. Ox in an inn. The last one was like uh, an, like an angel on earth. And I know I, I remember earth angel. Shit. I only have three minutes. No good. What does he mean by ox? I don't know what either of those are. An ox. A cow. Oh, there are two Ashi in look locations in Kamurocho. Uh, there must be one where the inn comes into play. A hotel district? Inn. Hostel. Hotel. There's an Akushimaru in the hotel district. Um, where is that? Is, is that this? Is this quite literally where I am? My god, I was literally right there! An ox in an inn. He must have meant the, uh, yes, this place. Where's the bomb? There, I found it. Same design. I'll just pull the wire out like last time. There, did it stop? Yes, the countdown stopped. Whew. Didn't go off. You need to stop this. <laughs> Wonderful. You've done wonderfully, Yagami-san. Yagami Listen, you son of a... Hold your tongue. If you want someone to blame, blame Kamurocho, not me. What do you mean? This couldn't happen if Kamurocho had invested properly in its security system. The automation of our lives. The citizens accept it. The whole country is at fault. Is that anger I detect? What's wrong? You mad that nothing exploded? Save your taunts. You'll eat those words when you fail next time. <laughs> next time? Hey! Are you still not done with this? What's his goal, damn it? Why don't you have Sugino try to track the call, like, from, you know, the fact that you're getting the calls? Oh, I didn't realize this. I just ate here. Damn it. Uh, glad you enjoyed it, sir. Uh, thanks for always stopping by. <laughs> by the way, have you heard we're adding a new entry? Uh. Oh, yeah? Can't wait to try it. Please do. I came up with the recipe myself, and I must say, it's one of my finest creations interesting are you the manager by any chance that's right please call me narugawa nasu nasugawa i can never read these names properly out loud got it i'm yagami it's nice to meet you yagami -san. nice to meet you too yagami san please come back and try our new entry i'm sure you'll love it Friendship. I'm sure I will. Next time, then. 
wonderful. Then I hope to see you again soon. I want to see if that new entry is actually here. No, it's not. Let's just have a beer and some miso and some coleslaw. Because we can afford it. Back I'm a little it. drunk, but it's fine. Okay, I guess I'll have to come back and do that one later. Well, it's actually lucky I did the bomb thing, because oh. right now I'm, like, right near, um, Genda's, uh, law office, so that's good news. Oh, Shiro-kun, what's going on? What's huh? going on here? Wait, what the... You did it. So admit it already. Huh? I told you I didn't do it! There's no point in lying. Hey. Hey. Yagami-san! You came! Yagami-kun! Oh, hey, Mafuyu. Ah. Mafuyu's here too? Oshino-kun, what in the world is going on? I thought this... I thought this was serious. It is serious! As you can see, Sayori-san and Mafuyu-san have accused me of a crime. A crime, huh? <sighs> yeah, but I'm innocent, I tell you. Well, here we go. Why Mafuyu? Uh, oh yeah, I want to go with that. In that case, why is Mafuyu involved? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I just happened to drop by in a work-related issue. And you got dragged into this? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sayori's pretty worked up. I made inquiries, and it sounds like... Well, Shinokun really is the one who could... Uh, really is the only one who could have done the deed. <laughs> That's why Mafuyu is uh, is prosecuting the case for me. <sighs> prosecuting? Is that how it is? What is he hey. uh, suspected of? Well, Shinokun, what does Sayori-san think you did? No. I didn't do anything! She's just upset because of her stupid cake! Hmm? Her... Cake? Yes! I've been accused of eating the cake she had in the fridge. Huh? This is not just any old stupid cake we're talking about. It was from Goto Gatao. Ga Goto Gatio. Gatia. Gatia. I can't read that. It was a special event cake that I waited in line for hours to get. Huh? Huh? Is it really happen is this really happening right now? Why is he suspected? Hey. Okay, I'll bite. Why is Oshino-kun the one, uh, uh, the most likely suspect? Oshino-kun was the only one who even knew about the cake. Only because she bragged about having got it in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need facts. When was the cake last seen? Went home around 8 p.m. last night, and the cake was most certainly in the fridge at that time. Why didn't you take it home with you? Why is that a thing that didn't happen? I was here for another two hours or so after that, but nobody else came in. Hmm. Then, presuming Hoshino-kun is innocent, then had to have been eaten between 10 p.m. and this morning. Are you sure you locked up the office? Okay. Yes, I'm sure. Jeez. There are no signs of forced entry, so I think that rules out any external parties as the culprit. Let's see. And who unlocked the office this morning, then? Genda since I got here before me. But he left as soon as I came in. After that, Mafuyu-san arrived. Sayori-san was the last to arrive. Mm. And that's when I discovered my cake was gone. That would mean Genda-sensei is also a suspect. He could have eaten it while he was alone in the office. No. No way. Genda-sensei is a Japanese sweets man. He doesn't go for western cakes and pastries. <sighs> that's... Th that's your justification? Although, I guess he wouldn't have much motive, if that's true. Hey! You're up against the wall, Hoshino-kun. Why don't you just come clean? Huh? Oh, fool you, son, please! I'm telling you, I didn't do it! The longer you hide from your crimes, the heavier your sentence is going to be, Hoshino-kun. But... OBJECTION! If you ask me, my fool you, son, is pretty suspicious, too. Huh? Excuse me? Did you just sell objection for the fun of it? Hey. And do you care to tell the court what you meant by that little comment? 
After my Fuyu song came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom. And let's say I was gone for about 15 minutes. My Fuyu song could have easily scarfed down the whole cake in that time. Huh? Why would I. This is baseless conjecture. Do you have any, any evidence to back up your statement? Actually, I do. Huh? What? Don't think I didn't hear it. When you came in here this morning, <laughs> your stomach growled. <laughs> what? You heard that? Yes. Yes! You skipped breakfast this morning, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry. So you figured you'd just peek in the fridge. That's when you discovered an exquisite little cake. You couldn't help yourself. You dug right in. Am I wrong? Huh? Yes, you are, as a matter of fact. Besides, a growling stomach is hardly admissible evidence. Yagami-san. Yes, why? My god, we're having a cake court case. Yagami-san, you're up. Hmm? I am. Please take my case and defend me. If you don't, Suri-san will glare at me for the rest of my life. Well, if we're talking business, then I guess I can take this one. Please? Apparently, this is really happening, so first place, good lawyer starts at the crime scene. wonder if the rapper is still in the trash. Side case, justice is sweet. What? Oh, like everyone else is now gone. Oh, wait. I don't hear a cat, but there's gotta be a cat somewhere. There's uh. always a cat. I mean, I don't see a trash. Oh. Hey. Ah. This is Sayori san's desk. It's immaculate. Yes. Well, look who we're talking about. <laughs> My desk is uh, the one opposite hers. Seeing her clean desk is actually pretty motivating. Ah. Motivating, huh? Is it the ne uh, neat desk or the person who sits at it that motivates you? Huh? What are you implying? <laughs> Nothing. Just. You're just an open book. Come on, Yagami-san, don't tease. Okay. Oh, some paint is, like, some wallpaper is coming off the wall. There's the cat! I found the cat! What the? Oh, look, a cat! I found the cat! I'm gonna do this every fucking time, by the way. Suspicious. Trash bin! <gasps> hmm. I'm seeing the trash can is empty. It's usually bursting at the seams. Okay. We take the trash can every day now on our rotating shift. And who was in charge of it today? Genda Sensei. Huh? huh? Even Genda Sensei pitches in. <laughs> well, it's more of a punishment for him. Siori san made him do it. Yagami san. Genda Sensei is really lazy about sorting his trash. So I kind of blew up in him. I said to him, Don't you even consider. I said to him, don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? And then he said he'd start pitching in on trash duty. I'm surprised you had the guts to say that to him. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, the other trash cans are empty too. It seems Genda-sensei takes trash duty seriously. Noted. Thanks for checking. Hmm. Well, this cake must have had a wrapper. Is there anywhere else it could have been thrown away? Well, I suppose it could have been washed out with the rest of our containers in the kitchen. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Find the wrapper is going to blow this case wide open. Where's the kitchen? Oh, there's the kitchen. No wrappers. Uh, it looks like, uh, but it looks like we got some milk cartons. They've been washed out and neatly compacted. Yagami san. Those are Sayori-san's milk cartons. They weren't there last night, so whoever was on cleaning duty must have done it. <laughs> Sayori-san scolds anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves. But there's three of them. She's not drinking that much, is she? I kinda doubt it. Maybe she threw them out for some reason? What the... Hey. Hmm? Is this the refrigerator where the crime happened? Hmm? 
The ice tray is melted. Did someone forget to freeze it? No. Nah, couldn't be. Nobody's used it. Nobody's using ice in the winter, probably. I didn't see anyone use it yesterday. Hmm. Why did it melt? That's interesting. Oh no, I think I have an idea. I think that what happened is that the uh, either the fridge broke or the power went out and get the sense I had to throw everything away because it was bad. That's my guess anyway. God, it's like a mini courtroom. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, are you finished with your investigation? If so, we should start the hearing. Huh? The hearing? Are we really going to trial with this? Of course. Mafuyu? Or should I say, prosecutor, uh, prosecutor Fuji? Are you prepared to represent, uh, to present your case? <sighs> Fine, have it dragged in this far. May as well see it through. Please. Then court is now in session for defendant Issei Hoshino. Prosecutor Fuji, your opening statement, please. Um, well, the prosecution is firmly of the belief that Hoshino kun is the only viable culprit. And your proof? The defendant is er is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, I have a counter argument to that assertion. Hmm. Proceed, Prosecutor Fuji. -e. If I'd been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Yagami kun. Right, Yagami kun. You can corroborate this statement, I take it. Hmm? Me? Hmm. If we really ate the cake, something that should exist is missing. And that proof is. the lack of the container. The trash can at the scene. uh. The trash can at the scene was empty because its contents were removed this morning. Okay. Yes, Gen Sensei was the first one in the office today. And that's probably when he took out the trash. Which means, if Mafuyu had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterwards. And since we've all confirmed the trash can is empty... Hey. Oh, you have a point. Right. There was no wrapper in the trash can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. I mean, you could be hiding the wrapper in your purse. That is a thing that could be happening. And we've thoroughly searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. I see. This is pretty conclusive evidence. Nope. Well, hold it, Sayori-san. I can present a counter-argument here. Okay. The court will hear the defense's objection. While the wrapper may not be in the trash can, we can't rule out that you can't hide uh, the evidence. <laughs> objection. Predictable Yagami-kun. I'd like to present the court with some new evidence. Hmm? New evidence? While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigation, naturally. Hmm? That's when this document on Sayori's desk caught my eye. It's a notice of a planned power outage. Huh? Relevance, prosecutor? I mean, like, like I said, I figured it out. The power went out, and that's why the tray was melted, and basically the cake went bad. Seems there was a blackout last night scheduled from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. this morning. I do remember Genda Sensei saying something about that. We warned the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Hey. Oh, I remember that too. But I had, but I had something urgent come up, so I left and forgot all about it. Hmm? Huh? And that means... Precisely. If the cake was left inside the fridge with no power on, it would have spoiled. Despite being winter, it's uh, been unseasonably warm. You know, because global warming is a thing. Hmm. And if anyone ate it... Uh, they know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right. And there's no way anyone would go through with eating the whole thing. Hmm. But the whole cake has vanished. Someone must have devoured the fresh... Someone must have devoured the fresh cake. And there's only one span of time when that's possible. Not this morning after the cake would have spoiled, but last night when it was still fresh. Or it spoiled, and Genda Sensei, being a good boy, decided to throw it out with the rest of the trash? Oh, hey, wait! 
I'm afraid so, Hoshino-kun. The only one who could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Hoshino-kun, it could only be you. Ah! No way! Objection! Yeah! Hmm? Excuse me? Does the defense have further arguments? Yep. Yes. I think it's too early to pronounce a verdict. There's one more possibility. <gasps> this better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge, and I have evidence to prove it. The milk cart. Reveal the evidence! The milk Sayori saw put in the fridge has been dumped, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge. Three cartons, to be precise. Genda sensei must have done it during his cleaning this morning. An, an act forced upon himself by the. Uh, an act forced upon him by the victim herself! Hmm. I'm not following Yagami. Let's consider. What would, what would drive Genda Sensei to do this? Why would he discard three milk cartons at once if there was some left? You're right, that's certainly an odd thing to do. Why? There's only one particular piece of evidence that points to the logic behind his actions. It's this! Hmm? Huh? Why? Hmm. Uh, well, I was hoping you could tell me. Huh? You're gonna present evidence, it should be you telling us. <laughs> ah, sorry. I just seeing what would happen. Give me a second here. Okay, but wait, no, that, that should be right. It should be this, then. Check this out. Oh, yeah, yeah, the power outage. Defense, does this line of reasoning have a point? What would happen to milk left in the fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. And if Genda Sensei, who had, been clean, who had been on cleaning duty, found that the milk had gone bad, he probably would have thrown it away. Oh! Oh, then! It seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. Which means, the two culprit that ate Sayori-san's cake is... No one! No one ate the cake! In other words, there is no culprit to blame. Huh? What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't believe this. Hey. You're implying Genda Sensei threw away the spoiled cake. Yeah, that's about the sum of it. Shori said herself that she hurried home last night due to, to an urgent matter. The outage slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Genda Sensei found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying, I kind of jumped to conclusions? Yes, you very much did. Oh, wow, quite a crowd in here. What brings you by, Yagami and Mafuyu-kun? Uh, welcome back, Enda sensei Say, who left that cake and all that milk in the fridge overnight? <sighs> Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power outage? Now, on the day I had cleaning duty, of all days. It's rude to make people throw away spoiled food, you know. <sighs> eh. Oh, I believe the words were, Don't you even consider the people who have to take out the trash? Your words, right, Shirosaki-kun? <laughs> well, having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning all too well now. Hi. I... I'm so sorry! You should be. Only time I've ever seen her apologetic. That's why it's not voiced. It's technically not canon! Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you. Thank you, Yagami-san. It looks like I'm clear of suspicion. <laughs> and I sentenced Sayori-san to cleaning duty for one month straight, starting tomorrow. I'm sorry. There are no words to express my remorse. I mean, there we go. As my defense attorney, I'd like you to have this, Yagami-san. Oh, thanks. I gotta say, though, I'm pretty shocked. Sayori-san stays cool under pressure, but as soon as sweets get involved... You have no idea how long I've been waiting, how long I've been looking forward to that cake. I can appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. I'll work on that. 
<sighs> Case closed, I guess. Pretty turbulent day for the criminal justice system. Well, that was fun, at least. Kamurocho is pretty tense right now. No thanks to the Matsugane family and the Kyore at each other's throats. Better ask Higashi about it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go uh, talk to Higashi. Oh, by the way, just to let you guys know, I'm gonna be cutting out a lot more of the random battles that I've been showing and everything, because, one, you guys kind of already get the point about it. Unless something interesting or funny happens, you know, I'm just kind of gonna cut out most of my random battles. And, uh, I know that, uh, at least one of you in particular has been complaining about the fact of that there are so many random battles, even counting how many I had in one episode. Hi there. Uh, Yagami. What, what are you doing here? Just here to chat. To chat? If Captain Hamura knew this, he'd... What? Never mind. Don't gotta worry about that now. He's in no position to be coming after you anymore. Oh, good. You mean because of the shooting? Yeah, it really shook him up. He's been MIA ever since that night. Oh, Jesus. Went into hiding even before the cops came. <laughs> so, what do you want? Don't just stand there. You're a guest. Take a seat. Oh, well, thank you. <sighs> Sounds like the family's a mess right now. Got that right. The office is crawling with cops. Gonna head over there myself once I'm done with this. Why? <sighs> Gotta shore up the defensive line. The whole family's on duty for this shit. Right. I'm just wondering, why'd the Curie decide to come after you now? They've been pretty quiet. It's obvious. They're second in commands in town and ready for war. Oh. Took the train up from Kansai and everything. Who's this guy? Name's Satoshi Shioya. The guy's a natural-born fighter. And soon enough, he'll be chairman. Ooh. And he's the one who ordered the shooting? No doubt. Though he was targeting Hamura, not Kurimoto. What makes you say that? Take a look at this. It's a shot of Kurimoto right after the shooting. Ugh. Tough to look at. Man got bullets through both eyes. That's not what I want to show you. Look at his clothes. Hmm? His clothes? What about them? The captain was wearing the same jacket yesterday. Wait. They're about the same age, and they look the same from behind, too. Safe to say the captain knows who they were really after. Oh, I get it. So the Kyore attack was meant for Hamura specifically, not the Tojo clan. Explains why he went into hiding so quick. Yep. <laughs> Funny how this all worked out. <laughs> you don't look very worried. If the Kyore are gunning for Captain Hamura, why wouldn't they go for the guys who set him free, too? That's a point. What, you think they're coming for me? Nah. If anything, Shintani's the one who should worry. Oh, yeah. After all, he was Hamura's lawyer. Yeah. He won't stand a chance with Yakuza gunning for him. This is true. If I were you, I'd at least give him a heads up. Well, thank you, Higashi. Higashi's a good guy. I like him. I hope he, I hope he makes it through the whole game because you never know. Like people, like some of my favorite characters in the Yakuza series, like die and like they'll survive. Like like one of my favorite characters survives like three games and then dies like in like the third or fourth one. And I was just like, seriously, seriously, I love that guy. Why would you keep him alive this long just to tear my heart out? Oh wait, that's why they did it. Kim son? How's my favorite know it all doing? Good? Oh no. Who is this? Sasai, you know, from the Kahin game. Oh god. And you're calling me why? Yakimi san, do not listen to him. Oh, oh Kim san! Shut your mouth. Kim san, you okay? You want to see your friend alive again? Get your ass over here. That bastard. Shintani's gonna have to wait. I need to go save Kim-san. Bring it on. Oh, that dude's got a knife! Holy crap! 
They're arming themselves now. I like that. Making this a little bit more interesting. No more knife for him. Oh, bam! Oh, I was hoping he would go straight into, like, um, uh, like the other trash can. But he's still at the trash. I'm just taking out the trash, if you know what I'm saying. Wait. This was the scene. Oh, that makes sense then. Okay. Move along. Nothing to see here. I know. I just I just wanted to get the screw. Damn it, I can't get the screw now. You've screwed me. Wait, there's a case file in here? What's this? I hope it's not another one of the mad bombers, but like I really want to get it because sometimes they just disappear and I don't want to miss it. Yeah. Hey man, I'm Tatsuo and I own the bar over here. You look thirsty, my friend. Hmm? Do I? <laughs> only two, uh, only two thousand yen for a drink. What do you say? <sighs> oh, he's a barker. No. Hey, come on, man. I'm ser I'm in serious trouble right now. The big party just got canceled on me, so I'm screwed if I don't fill some tables. So please, can't you hear me out? Like I said, I run the bar over there with my wife. It's got a real nice vibe and pretty good food if I do say so myself. But losing customers like this has put us in a real pinch. If you have a drink, you really be helping us out. Nah. Damn, this guy's not giving up, is he? Just 2,000 yen, right? Totally. It's a... It's a... Panic sale. You won't regret it. Eh, well, let's do it. Why the I'm hell nice. not? Kim San will be fine. Let's go get a few drinks first. Fine, just one drink. Now we're talking. Please, right this way. If anything about this turn sketchy, I'm walking right out the door. Oh, what's this? A customer? <laughs> You're darn right, Maki. Caught this guy wandering around outside and offered him a drink. Honey, don't tell me. Were you out there harassing people again? Didn't I tell you against the? it's against the law? Huh? Shut up, woman. It's my bar and I'll do what I want. Oh, it's your bar, is it? What if I stopped helping you with it then? Oh, really? You're gonna... You're the one who needs the cash to fund your host club addiction. I haven't gone to a club in forever, and I've worked more than enough to make up for it. <sighs> okay, how did I manage to walk into a marital spat? <sighs> You're ridiculous! I'm gonna have a drink! <sighs> oh, sorry, sir. <sighs> it must have been terribly awkward for you. I don't want to keep you. No. No, it's fine. I don't mind ordering the drink I said I would. <sighs> what would you like, sir? You have any recommendations? We actually just restocked some top shelf whiskey today. You can barely keep this stuff in the house. Seems like it's a good bargain for great taste if you ask me. Ah. Sounds right up my alley. Hi. Okay, coming right up. Thanks for the drink. It was nice. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed yourself. Come back anytime. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, but we don't take cards. Can I ask you to pay in cash? Yep. Uh, sure, I've got 2,000 yen on me. Whoa! Huh? Wait, why is the bill 100,000 yen? Hey. You sure that's right? Yeah? Really? But I put the wrong price? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid not, sir. Everything looks correct to me. Huh? What? Oh, A hundred yen. In cash, please. They got me. Those conniving. Ugh. They ripped me off. Hmm? Oh, sir, are you unable to pay? Huh? Back it up a sec. Any way you slice it, a hundred thousand for a shot of whiskey is ridiculous. Your husband said the prices were reasonable. <laughs> they are reasonable, sir. But I've included the service fee from my world-class bartending. Are you listening to me? Your husband said it was a 2,000 uh, yen drink. Oh, my husband has no idea what we charge. I keep telling him to stop quoting prices. That stupid man. Look at him. 
causing such misunderstandings. You're shameless. That for earlier was just to lower my guard, wasn't it? Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you would, the check, sir. The police are gonna catch on to this, you know. <laughs> Please, the police don't have time to deal with civil affairs in this town. They wouldn't come if you reported me. Ugh. She knows the game too well. Damn it. Sir, I have plans after this, so if you don't mind, could you please close your tab? Huh? You think I'm just gonna cough up that kind of money? Huh? Hey? You don't pay, I'll stab myself. And who do you think they'll blame? You, for stabbing yourself. You did it to yourself. Huh? What? You ready to pay the price for stabbing a poor, defenseless woman? Ugh. You wouldn't. Oh, but I would. I'll scream and stab myself right here. I'm calling her bluff. I'm not going to pay. I'm not paying. Fine. You asked for it. Whoa, whoa wait a minute. Ugh. Shit, what do I do? I'm not paying. God damn it, I have to pay? Fine, I'll pay. Just lower the knife. A hundred thousand and not a yen less. I've got to buy some time. Is there no other way? Nothing I can see. Hmm. Is there a cat? There is a cat. I hear a cat. Where are you, kitty? Kitty, kitty. Kitty! Suspicious. Thank God for the cat. What the? Suspicious. She's dressed up pretty. Uh, she's pretty dressed up, all right. That necklace, uh, that necklace is the star of that ensemble, too. <laughs> Are you eyeing my necklace? I like to wear this one on special occasions. Hmm? Special occasions? Oh, don't worry. It's got nothing to do with you. But if you want to fantasize about my body and my necklace later tonight, you're welcome to it. Hell no! Hmm. Special occasion, huh? That must mean she's meeting someone. Is she meeting her husband or someone else? Maybe this will be my lucky break. It could be completely harmless, but if it's not, I'll have my bargaining chip. I'm desperate here. Hey. So that's where the money goes as she rips off the customers. <sighs> Pisses me off that my money's about to go there too. Okay, it keeps rumbling. What the? Hey, they must have a bathroom. Maybe I can uh, get out that way. Excuse me. Hey, you mind if I use the bathroom real quick? If you pay first. I'm leaking here, lady. If your plan is to leave from the bathroom, don't even think about it. Uh, uh, do that in the bathroom. Huh? Ha, <laughs> that's not what I meant. There's gotta be something else. Maybe I could just dine and dash, make a run for it. Uh, the fridge. Suspicious. So the service fee is forty thousand. There's a pouring fee of fifty thousand. When we sell something at two thousand yen a drink, we have to make money somehow. Why complain? Huh? Because it's robbery. That's why. I come to a bar if all you're gonna do is complain. Hey, I got dragged here by a barker. Huh. You young folks will nitpick anything these days. Degenerates, all of you. The only degenerate here is you, lady. Hey. Sure is wearing a lot of makeup tonight, and it's immaculate. She couldn't uh, do this every day, could she? <laughs> I see you're sizing me up, pretty boy. You're quite a catch, huh? You caught me on a good night. So she did go the extra mile tonight. <laughs> if you keep staring, I'm gonna add it to your tab. Huh? What? Do you think you'll... Uh, what, you think I'll give you even more? <laughs> even beauty has its price, sweetie. In fact, now that I think... Now that I look at you, you're quite handsome in a rugged sort of way. Would you like to pay physically? No, no. I'll give you your money. <sighs> this woman is something else. Okay. Why have I not found anything? I've investigated several things. <laughs> oh. There's no ring that I can see, but then again, it's her right hand, so... Hmm. 
Maybe if I check her left thoroughly. If she's having an affair, she'd take off her ring for sure. Yup! I see it, I see it! Come on! I know you'll do it eventually, I saw you do it! Ah, there's a tan line on her finger. Does that mean her wedding ring is usually on? If so, that would mean she's taking it off, spe uh, especially for tonight. Maybe this woman really is about to go have an affair. If I could just get the evidence of that. If I could use it to negotiate the return of my money. Alrighty, I've done it! Hey, how long are you gonna stare into space? Pay up already! Pisses me off to no end, but I think I should just pay her for now. Ugh. That hurts my wallet. Shit, you got me, lady. But don't think for a second that this is over. I'll get my money back in my own way. I'm gonna tail her. Yup! She's right that the police would never bother with fraud like this, so I guess I'll stoop to her level. If I catch her in the middle of an affair, that'll be all the bargaining chips I need. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Huh, I just got off work, darling. Mm. Yep, I'm good. I'll see you soon. <laughs> uh, she was laying on the ch she was laying the charm on thick. It had to have been a guy on the other end. This is looking more and more like like I might just get the affair I'm after. Yep. Trailing this lady is the right call. I'll get my money back and she'll pay for taking it. Nice. Alright. Just gotta follow her without getting seen. Alrighty, time to tailor and get our money back. I know that Kim Song needs help. I know that, but we gotta follow this Maki lady who, I'm very sorry, I don't like the fact that she's named Maki purely because of, uh, uh, Maki was my favorite character in Danganronpa V3. I loved Maki. Anyone named Maki can't be a bad person. So I want to believe that she's not a bad person, but I have been wrong before, so she is more than likely definitely a bad person. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I also got a skill that ups the time, like, I have to, like, not, uh, to, like, uh, be out of, uh, for them to be out of sight. There she goes. There she goes. I'm going after her. She's not gonna get away. Sorry, lady. Wait, did she just start running? She did! Shit! Damn it. Couldn't see her because of the sign. There she is. Jesus, she almost spotted me, man. There she is. Good, good, she can't see me. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, I get it. Okay, come on. 
Turn around, turn around so I can go to the spot. God damn it, turn around! God damn it, like what can I do? I know that I have to get over there to that spe like very specific spot, but she's watching me, so I can't. Okay, come on, do something! Do something! Give me something! My god! Thank you for finally doing it. Jesus. God, like the game like glitched out again. This game has had a few glitches that have been very, very annoying. Were you waiting long, baby? <laughs> oh no, I just got here. It's been so long, hasn't it, Subasa? So, do you have anything long you want to give me? <laughs> Damn, Maki. It's only been three days, hasn't it? Ah. She's seeing that host. No wonder she see she needed a hundred thousand yen. Those guys aren't cheap. I see you took off your ring. I'm proud of you. Oh, Subasa. I'm a virgin every night for you. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> huh. That means you want me to pop that cherry tonight? Mm-hmm. I'll give you every part of me. Ah. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. He's just doing his job, but he keeps her, keeps with her like it's nothing. Alright, I need a good pick. Something she can't talk her way out of. Well, we're not exactly in the hotel district. Wait! I'm not even in vision! I'm behind a fucking wall! What the fuck? No, serious fucking Lee. I'm like, okay, I'm behind a wall. She can't see me. What, how, how in the fuck? How in the motherfucking hell did she spot me? That is bullshit. Okay. My god. Ah, oh, the photo is just icing on the cake. Hmm. Could have gotten closer, I think, but this should be fine. I wish I would have gotten closer, but it was all of a sudden like, Oh, she can see me through a wall, huh? Hey. Hello, ma'am. Did I catch you feeling thirsty? Huh? You! What are you doing here? What do you think of this pick? Your face came out real nice, I think. Mm? What? Don't you... T Didn't you tell your husband you'd quit the host thing? I wonder what he'd think of this photo. Hand that over! Whoa, let's not get grabby, lady. Uh? Hey! Who the hell are you? Nobody in particular. Cougar bait. Or would you say this is part of your job? Nanio. Tsubasa loves me, you moron! <laughs> yeah, totally, Maki. Then won't you kick this guy's ass for me? You said you work out, didn't you? <laughs> Wait, what? I'll give you 50,000. Uh, no, make it 100,000. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal to me. Oh, he's in, he's in it for the paycheck after all. Let's go, asshole. You think I can step up to my lady like that? Heh. <laughs> I'll go easy on you if you don't hit my face. I'm just gonna aim just for the face. The way. Face! That was easy. Love the music though. Ow! I told you not to touch my face! Subasa! 
Are you okay? Hey. Well, ma'am, what's next on your list? I'll give you 50,000 just to leak that picture. I say we make it 100,000. That much? It's just a picture! <laughs> sure, the picture comes cheap, but there's a service fee for deleting it, and my world-class photography! What's with that stare? Are you sizing me up, you creep? Just thinking that you still have the money you ripped off me, right? Why not just return that? Fine, I'll give it back. Just don't tell my husband about this. Thank you for your business. Yeah. Yo, you look like you need a drink, man. Oh. Yeah. Crap. Mm -hmm. er? Maki, what were you doing with this guy? Oh, t n nothing. I love the look on the other guy's face. Like, hello. I have not. I not. I not banging wife. No, I know. I don't do that. No. I j I know. I just know. Huh? Don't tell me you were at that host club again. Uh, no. Why would I? What is it then, huh? You just I'm sorry. No, you're not. <sighs> I'm glad I got my money back, but I'm annoyed for getting conned in the first place. Ah, <sighs> more of myself than anything. Just goes to show, you can't let your guard down in Kamurocho, no matter how well you think about it. Now Kim-san's in danger! I must go save Kim-san! Yes, yes, I know I spent like forever not helping Kim-san and everything. I'm very, very aware of that. But you know what? Now Kim-san is going to be my first priority. Hi there, guys. Kim-san. Yakumi-san? I'm so sorry! Hmm. I forgot how much you pissed me off, know-it-all. Really? And I forgot how dumb you look, so we might as well call it even. <laughs> what was that? What was that? So, this is our guy, huh? I've heard a lot about you, Yagami-san. Rumor has it you're a skilled little skull. Monster. You look buff as fuck. Uh, thanks. The name's Honda. Renji Honda from the Kagan game. Pleased to meet you. Honda, shut up and help us kick his ass already. Help you? Come on, boys. Oh, oh damn. Ah. Dude, Honda. What the fuck? What the hell are you doing? I was looking forward to this fight. Not gonna waste it by just dogpiling the guy. Ooh. Be glad to give you a taste, too, if you disagree. Okay, I like him. Hey, what's your deal? Just want to fight you. That's all. One on one, eh? Huh? That's the whole reason I joined the Kayin. Locking fists with tough bastards like you. So come on. Let's tango. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Sorry, but I really don't have time for this. Fighting's the only thing that keeps the world spinning, Yagami-san. I know you agree. Uh, I do not. <sighs> now, enough talk. I'm ready for some fun. I do like the voice actor, though. I don't, I don't immediately recognize him. I wonder who it is. It's rare for me not to. Oh, I forgot I was already in that style. Oh, yeah. You know what? I haven't done this yet. Oh, damn. Holy hell, that's nice. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm down. Get up. Come on, Yagami. Oh, that was nice. Oh, my God. I am low on health now. Hold on. Health? Healing items is? Oh, I need something better than that. Oh, yeah. Egg sandwich. And a uh, fresh lettuce sandwich. Oh, you missed. You missed, asshole. My turn! Oh, damn. Th this guy is a tough motherfucker. Oh! You fucking dead! Bam! Got him. <laughs> You're even beefy. 
funkier than I'd heard. This is freaking great. Is it? I'm not too big on fighting for no reason, though. Oh yeah? Look like you were having fun to me. What? You're a natural-born fist-flinger. But... I think we're done here. Are we? What? Random bystander phoned the coppers on us. They'll be here any second. Go. What about your fight? I thought that's what keeps the world spinning. Can't exactly fight you if you're rotting away behind bars. That's true. Let's go, Yakami san. You're right, Kim san. Uh, okay. I l hey, I like this guy. That was a real hoot. Let's do it again sometime, Yakami san. That was awesome. I love that. That was badass. More of that, please. Phew. We should be safe now. Who was that guy, Kim san? You do not know? No. Oh, that was Honda. One of the Keihin Four. The... <laughs> oh, 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 it's what they call the four highest ranking members of the Keihin gang. Kasai, Honda, Sakakiba, and Koga. Each of the four has their own faction. And countless thugs doing their dirty work for them. So there are two more? Yes. And I hear Koga's faction is the strongest of them all. Okay. Yes. Word on the street is that they line their pockets selling weapons on the black market. Mm. Not even the Yakuza are keeping up with how powerful they have become. Well, then let's hope this Koga guy stays far away from us. So sorry. <laughs> I'm afraid it's my fault that they are coming after you. Eh, it's all good. Please, just be careful, Yakimi-san. You too, Kim-san. Yeah, you go run your restaurant, buddy, and I'll go... I don't know what I do normally. Like, this is like my normal stuff. Okay. Threat level. Depending upon uh, where you are in the story and how much time has passed, there may be more Keihin gang members swarming the streets than usual. When the threat level is present, your chance of encountering Keihin gang members is higher. Powerful Keihin gang leaders will show up in the city as long as the threat level is present. Cool. I'm not upset about that. I enjoyed that fight. That was a good fight. What do I have as health uh, recovery items? What does a hug bomb do? I'm going to try it. Oh! Oh, hug bombs. They're like energy drinks. Oh, okay. And I've got... Okay, cool. I'm just checking what, like, what all they do and everything. The smartest thing right now would be to eat food because... Um, There we go. Oh, oh, I have a new message from my girlfriend. Okay, hold on. Yagami-san, I went to my professional recording session today and I was super nervous. Oh, for your CD? When's it coming out? Next month, they're advertising it online. Then let's meet up to celebrate. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. How about we meet out in front of the Kamuro Theater? Okay, see you there. Cool. I already have uh, tons of presents for San and Chan. Okay, sorry. I stopped to talk to uh, Inose about his business. Oh, it's not bad, but it could be better. Having a little trouble coming up with new ideas for our upcoming special. Mm. It's easy to admit, but there are a lot of. There's not a lot you can do with a chicken patty. Wet kitchen, on the other hand. Oh, that's right. Wet Kitchen gets a pretty stiff competition, don't they? Yes. Particularly the one on Tai on West Taiye Boulevard. They've been our main competitor for many years. Hmm. Try to be optimistic. Excuse me. Well, in that case, I know something that might interest you. The marketing supervisor for Wet Kitchen was actually looking to do a collaboration. Yeah. You mean you want to cooperate with another fast food chain? The absolute madman! Yep. Well, he was organizing a new potential campaign and got his idea selected, so maybe he's not so mad after all. However, he went all the w <laughs> he went all in on uh, the promotion, thinking he could find a partner on the fly. And if you're having trouble coming up with ideas, then this might be a good fit for you. Maybe you two will end up uh, making something big. Hmm? You know, Aesop? You know? I could see this working! Yes, what a novel idea! Wet Kitchen really knows their stuff! Well, and I was the one who thought of it. 
I have a feeling this is gonna be a winner. I'm gonna go ask for permission from corporate and contact Wet Kitchen right away. Oh, then be sure to ask her for Fruya. He's the guy who's in charge over there. Fruya, got it. Thanks so much. Hooray, more friendship! But we're gonna go have our date with uh, Sanachan real quick because, as we all know, that is far more important than warning Shintane about uh, uh, incoming death. Oh, hello! Yagami-san. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting, Yagami-san. Uh, no problem. More importantly, congrats on your big debut. Thank you so much! Thank you! Hey. Um, Yagami-san, I have something for you. Oh, amidst the dream LP! Oh, I'm gonna put that in my office! What's this, a record? Okay. Yes! This was made by the president of my agency to commemorate my first album. Wow, that's pretty elaborate. I'll make sure to listen to this back at the office. <laughs> Hope you like it. Uh, what should I give her? We're gonna give her Jesus earrings! So, uh, I actually got something for you. Seriously? What? Really? Yeah, check this out. Oh, wow, thanks. She does not like it. Not her style. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it's a bit flashy. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Uh, I thought it would look good on you. Well, I'll have to try it out sometime. Okay. I knew it was a little over the top. But I wanted to give her Jesus! So that she could have Jesus whispering in her ears wherever she went! I, I know it doesn't make sense right now. A friend of mine and I are doing a playthrough of Yakuza 0, and trust me, when that goes up, this will make all the sense. I will actually direct people back to this specific episode, because I swear to God it'll make sense. Now, where should we go today? Went to the uh, batting cage last time. Let's go to the arcade. I like the arcade. Want to check out the arcade? Okay. Sure, as long as we can uh, try out the UFO catcher. No! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Greetings, songstress of Kamurocho. Oh! Oh, um, hi there, uh, Kabata-san. <laughs> so I heard you're finally signing the label. So you've done very well for yourself. Thank you so much! Uh, thank you. Of course. Still looking as beautiful as ever, I see. <laughs> you know, I even bought a new phone just to take your picture. Even the oil in your pores shows up on this thing. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh. You? By the way, who's this you're hanging out with? Uh, that would be... I'm uh, just a friend. Hmm. <laughs> nice jacket you got there. Where'd you get it? Janky jackets for jackasses.com. Wow, that was like the worst burn I've ever heard. Speaking of websites, I made you a Sanachan fan shrine. You should check it out. I'm pretty sure uh, you're your biggest my. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty much your biggest admirer. So could I like have your contact information so I could send you the URL? Uh, uh thanks, but I'd rather not give that out. Oh, don't worry. I promise not to share it with anyone weird. A lot like I'm weird and everything. Not like he doesn't have the exact same hairstyle and appearance as the stalker from that other side case. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got that. Okay. I'll make sure not to bother you late at night. Much. Yeah, so I don't mean to interrupt, but we're on our way somewhere. But thank you for voicing your support. Yeah, that was fucking creepy. That guy just now. Is he also one of your fans? Yeah. Kabata-san? Yeah. He's one of my biggest supporters since I was just a country ga gal experimenting with music. I mean, sure, his fan letters are a bit passionate at times, and yet he does seem odd, but he's not a bad person. I don't believe you. I'm, I'm not saying that you're a liar. I'm saying that you don't understand. All the things he's doing are not okay. If you say so. Hope I didn't give him the wrong impression. Oh. What do you mean? Uh. Well, what if he, I don't know, thought we were dating? Wouldn't that hurt your image as an up-and-coming singer? Oh. I could see how that makes sense. Grabbing something to eat in public uh, doesn't seem like such a hot idea anymore. Well, what if we run into more of his kind? But... Aw, then our day is totally ruined. I was looking forward to it, too. Yeah, I know. Want to chat in my office? 
In that case, how about we head to my place? Huh? You, you mean... Yeah. We don't have to worry about anyone seeing us there. Hey. Wait. Are you saying you want to... Does this mean what I think it does? Huh? Huh? Uh, what I meant to say was, why don't we head over to my office? I also happen to live there, so... You know, think of it as stopping by my workplace. Okay, then. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, then. Oh, man, she thought she was getting some nookie, didn't she? Yeah, so that wasn't awkward at all. Yes, we are doing this instead of warning Shintani-sensei. He was kind of a dick to us. It's fine. So, this is your office? <laughs> it's actually pretty stylish. I like it. Ah, uh, thanks. I try and spiff it up for my clients every now and then. Really? Isn't there supposed to be a bed somewhere, though? Since you live here and all? Ah, uh, I just live on the sofa. Saves space, saves money, saves time. Really? <laughs> You're silly. Not to mention a bit wild. Uh, speaking of being wild, I forgot to forage for food. Literally. There's nothing in the fridge. So, some host I am. No! Oh, that's okay. Hey. Actually, I was thinking that maybe I should cook for you. Huh? Would you? Sure. I can make you pretty much anything as long as I have the ingredients. Yeah? Well, then I'll be right back. Okay. Want me to go with you? Oh, there is a little place to cook there. Okay, cool. I'm wondering if this was meant to be like a one-bedroom kind of apartment thing, and he just made it into an office instead. So I actually want to correct something that I said earlier. I actually, um... I actually misidentified the voice actress of this, um... Actress. I know I said it in a previous episode, and I can't take that back. Um, I, I thought it was Christine Marie Cabanos, because it has a very similar tone. But it's actually a different actress that I've never heard of before. Um, at least, like, it seems like she does more of, uh, like, uh, camera work and everything. Well, not camera work, but she does more, like, on-camera work than she does voice work. Uh, her name is Elise, uh... It's either Napier or Napier. I'm not sure exactly how you would pronounce it exactly. But I still think that, like, she does a fantastic job with the voice regardless. But, like, yeah, I, I misidentified that and I wanted to correct myself. So, sorry about that. I can't help but feel a little bad about this. <laughs> you look worried, Yagami-san. Don't be. I enjoy this. All right. <laughs> Ta-da! All done. She didn't mention that she likes that she makes curry. Whoa! Give it a try. It's my special curry, made with an extra dish of dashi to give it that unique Japanese flavor. Hope you like it. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Oh my god, they're making me so hungry. Hmm. I bought so much random stuff. What all did she use to make this? I can tell she added uh, mirror into the base. And this vegetable here, is this daikon radish? And there's the chicken. It's soft, it's moist, full of natural curry spice flavor. And normally, I have to think that curry and dashi would clash, but Sanshan managed to give them an even balance. What do you think? I'll let her know how I feel about this dish. Um, why would I give her bad news? I'll sing her praises. She, I, it was good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm? Is it good? It's not just good, it's delicious! Huh? Really? Oh yeah. It's mouth-watering, mind-blowing, life-changing even. Huh? You... you like it that much? No, I love it that much. Even the adventure of Curry could probably learn a thing or two from you. Yeah! Yay! More intimacy! Yay, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Yagami-san. Eat more. Don't just sit there and stare at her. That's weird, dude. So, let's talk. Talk to me, Yagami-san. <laughs> Talking to a girl in my office about something other than work is kind of nice. Now, what's something we should talk about? Mm, have you written anything lately? Have you written anything lately? Okay. Uh, yeah, I've been working on some song lyrics for a song that's been in my head. Wow, what kind of song is it? Hmm. You really want to know? Of course. I am your number one fan, after all. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to say, but it's a love song. Oh, what kind of love song? It's about coming to terms with your feelings. 
Like when your heart tells you one thing, but your mind says another? <laughs> That's what I've got so far. So it's about someone with a wavering heart? Okay. Something like that. Are you basing it off actual experience? Okay. Yes. What I realized when writing the song is that I'm head over heels in love. Huh. You are? With who? <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to find out. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Uh, are you dating anyone right now? Actually, I've been wondering something, Sam Chan. Is it really okay for you to be coming over like this? Huh? What do you mean? Well, it's just... You know. I wasn't sure if you were dating anyone or not, so... Oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> In that case, it's totally fine. I'm currently boyfriend-free. Oh, that's a relief. Well, that's a relief. Huh? Is it? Yeah. Oh, if that was your natural reaction, then I'm relieved too. Besides, what kind of girlfriend would I be if I went to another man's house and started cooking in curry? Well, you make a good point. But friends can also do that for other friends, you know? I mean, I have my friends over, and I definitely enjoy cooking for them, so it's not that weird. And I go to, like, my friend's house for D&D, &D, and they typically cook for us, and we're all very appreciative. And granted, it's not a one-on-one -on -one thing, I'm not gonna deny that, but still. Uh, but now that you brought it up, uh, you're not taken either, are you? She's asking if I have a girlfriend. I'm still single at the moment. Nope, still single, unfortunately. Really? No way! A good-looking guy like you? Yeah. I know I shouldn't be happy, but... Oh, that's nice. Besides, I'm not the kind of guy who invites a girl over and has them make curry when I already have a girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> I would hope not. Uh, what made you get into music? So, Sanachan, what made you want to get into music? I, uh... Well, I've always liked singing to begin with. Whenever I did sing, people would always compliment my voice. So I ended up doing school competitions and all that. Before I knew it, I found myself wanting to become a professional singer. That's pretty much it. Wow. Huh. Look where you are now. You must have some real talent. Not everyone can do what they want in life. You must have some real talent to have made it this far. It's very true. Talent is one thing, though. It does take quite a bit of luck, but you gotta have the natural talent. You just gotta. It's a sad thing to say, and I wish that it wasn't true. But, um, people can work for it and people can get better at it, but there will always be just natural-born people that are just really good at certain things. Like, um, uh, there's an actor, a voice actor named David Vincent. You would remember him if you watch, uh, Bleach. He was Grim Jow. Um, he's, he's been in a lot of different stuff. I'm, I'm a big fan of him. Look him up if you, ha if you don't, if you, like, look him up on, like, you know, uh, IMDB or something. But, um, he actually was never trained as an actor. It just naturally comes to him, and he's a pretty damn good actor. Now, you know, like that being said, he encourages people to take acting lessons because he said that he knows that he's just lucky and that he fell into this and everything and he really enjoys it. But, you know, not everyone can just be natural like he can in like front of a microphone. So, yeah, no, if you've got if you've got talent, definitely nurture it. And if you've got a drive, definitely go for it. Don't don't let anything stop you. Oh, you think so? Oh, yeah. Take your fans, for example. You have this special something that keeps drawing them in. Happy to hear <laughs> Well, I hope they'd be drawn in by my music. Oh, what about you, Yagami-san? Would you consider yourself a fan? You bet I would. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I skipped that. Yay! Then you'll be my number one someday. By the way... By the way, this has been on my mind for a while, Yagami-san. Why'd you become a detective? Huh. Now there's a question. If I had to single out a reason... Because we don't need to wear suits. Really? Huh? That's all? Totally. Suits are, to are way too stuffy, and besides, they make my shoulders all stiff. Dress casual, work comfortable. That's just how I roll. <laughs> You're just messing with me, aren't you? Actually, I was being serious. Really? Really? But you'd look good in a suit. Uh, I could take another picture. Yeah, let's take a picture. Let's take a picture of ourselves. There we go. I like the sepia. Oopsie. 
How's this? Looks good. Yep, looks just fine to me. Yeah. Wow. You're actually pretty good. Can you send this to me later? Of course. There we go. Let's end the conversation. That's all we have time for today. Well, it's been a pretty relaxing day, but maybe we should call it for now. Huh? Oh, already? Can we just stay together? We can always stay longer if you don't mind, of course. <laughs> Isn't it exciting talking until midnight? Uh, it's not getting late. There's still light outside, but, um... Uh, I'll remind her that it's getting late. I'm going to be a gentleman. It does get kind of dangerous here, especially after dark. You sure you'll be okay going back? Oh, hey, I'm not a kid, you know. Never said you were. But you're also not a trained fighter. Now come on, I'm walking you home. Oh. Okay... Should have asked her to stay the night and then gone to Shintani the next day. Ha! <laughs> By the way, Sonachan, I just wanted to say how impressed I am with you. Uh, I, I bet you'll be a superstar in no time. Hmm. You really think so? Everything is happening so fast. I feel like I'm living in a dream. That may be, but it's the dream you've been striving for, isn't it? Besides, realization always comes after the fact. After the fact? Yeah. Don't you realize how talented you are? And there's a reason you... Uh, that's the... That there's a reason you made it this far. It'll all fall into pieces. Really? Peace. Uh, I keep... It'll all fall to pieces. Yep. Once you realize what you want to do with your life, that will shatter and you will be broken. That is exactly what I meant. Nothing else. Hehe. <laughs> I sure hope so. Whoa, it's Sana Himana. Mi Himana, I keep doing that. Sana Mihana. Hama. Sana Mihama. God. Her name is so difficult. One from that indie music uh, on uh, my tube. Huh? Uh, hmm? Oh, so it really is her. Wow. She's even prettier in person. <laughs> did you guys like my last song? We sure did. It was so good. We practically lost our minds when we heard it. Quick, take a selfie with the both of us. It'll blow up on chatter for sure. Oh. Hey, wait uh... a second. Ah? Hey, hey! What do you little punks think you're doing? Yeep! Sana Chan's enjoying her private time right now. It's a quick bug in her, you hear me? I will stand by this man in Sana Chan's defense. The soul of the songstress of Kamurocha requires peace and solitude. <laughs> Yay! Kitamura san and Ota san. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> no problem. Wait, isn't this dude. Don't tell me. Are you guys on a date? Wow, Sana chan. There really is more to you than meets the eye. Huh? Oh, no, it's not like that. I only asked him to help me out with something. Yeah, what she said. We were about to call it a day, anyway. Hmm. You know, Sana chan. You're considered a star now. Some fans might get the wrong idea seeing you with a guy. Like, uh, what's his name, for instance? The guy who... who's uh, one disappointment away from having a neurotic episode. You would be referring to Kabata, correct? Sanachan's uncouth stalker? Hmm? Hold up. You meant the... you mean that guy is stalking you? No. No, he's not a stalker. He's a passionate fan, that's all. You... I haven't seen his chatter, have you? Oh, God, the wrong voice for him. Sorry. You haven't seen his chatter, have you? The stuff he posts about you sounds way more pissed than passionate. Oh. Well, uh... Seriously, he was raving like a lunatic about how you were breaking the idle code. I think you'd best be careful. Well, th thank you, loyal fans. I like them. They're cool. For now. Don't let it get to you, Sonachan. If anything happens, you can always rely on me. Yeah. Okay. Yagami-san. Thanks for taking me out today, Yagami-san. I had a real great time. Hooray! Intimacy level two! Oh, level three now, actually. Never mind. Uh, me too. Glad you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> it's always... It's always like, where did the time go? Thank you so well, much! Well, hope to see you soon.
Bye! You're freaking adorable! Oh, another message. Must be literally right about this. Sana here. Just wanted to thank you for today. Hope you enjoyed my curry. Uh, we should go out next time. Huh? Are you saying my curry wasn't any good? No, no, is not what I'm saying. Is that so? Well, I fucked that up. I thought that saying I wanted to make it for me all the time would be kind of... I don't know. Mean? I don't know. Damn. Ah! That's, that ate up a lot of my time, man. Okay, so we're gonna check in uh, on Shintane-sensei. This episode's gonna run a little bit long, but that's fine. We'll just check in on him real quick, like. Excuse me. Oh, is Shintane-sensei not here? Beats me. What do you need him for? Just wanted to ask him about something. I'll try back later. Hold on a second. Hmm? Yagami. You plan on twiddling your thumbs until Shintani gets back? Are you bored? Well, I uh, can't say I'm busy. <laughs> Good. And I'll get, I've got the perfect job for you. I have a client who needs a bodyguard, and I want you to fill the post, Yagami. Hmm? Bodyguard? What kind of client are you talking to these days? Oh, it's just a messy custom battle that's going to court. I'm representing the mother. Her name is Azusa Otaki, and her daughter's name is Karin. They're set to appear in domestic affairs court today, and I'd like you to protect them until they get there. Okay. Who do they need protection from? Apparently, the father was Yakuza until very recently. The way she tells it, she got into a huge fight with him and had to flee with her daughter. So you're giving her a bodyguard just because he's ex-Yakuza? Isn't that kind of an overreaction? This poor woman doesn't seem to think so. She said her husband would do anything to get his daughter back. Her husband's name is Jin Notaki. It might not even come to it. But can you protect them from him if it does? Yep. Alright, seems pretty clear. Who knows when Chintane Sensei will be back anyway, so I guess I'll help. Thank you. So, I'll pay you. Hey. By the way, ever heard of Shune Oikawa, the lawyer? Hmm? Oikawa? No, I don't think I have. He's representing the father. But he's formerly one of mine. Huh? Huh? He worked here? Yeah. Yeah. He was gone before you started. One of those elite types who passed the bar real early in life. But he wanted to win his cases by any means necessary. Even bribery or blackmail. Yeah? I'm surprised I haven't heard of him then. He was good. He had some real potential. That's why I came down so hard on him about changing his ways. But he didn't give a damn. In the end, I had no choice. I fired him. I thought maybe that would be the wake-up call he needed. But all it did was give him a chip on his shoulder. I swear, the man only lives to beat me now. Hmm. Out of revenge for firing him or something? Yeah. Yeah. But living for revenge just makes you sloppy. He'll probably never learn. The circle of law, huh? Anyway. Do you know where... Uh, anyway, do you know where this mother and daughter are now? They were here not long ago, actually. She said they were doing some sh They said, uh... She said they had some shopping to do, and I couldn't stop her. <sighs> her... For her legal counsel, she doesn't seem to want to take my advice. Hmm. Sounds like a lovely family. Any idea where they might have gone? She said something about getting clothes to make something presentable in court. Hmm. So somewhere with clothes, huh? Well, I'll go find her. Well, that is where we're going to have to pick it up next time because we are way over time for this one. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Next time we're going to go find this mother and daughter. Probably get into a fight, maybe with the lawyer himself, but definitely with the father. And uh, we'll just see what will... Uh, yeah, I figured it was going to be uh, 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 Lamerch. I figured it'd be that. 
So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way down there. So yeah, that's where we'll pick up next time. So thanks again, and until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers. <laughs>